Sports Time. Now we say good evening to Mark Steele in the sports studio. What's the big story, Mark? Well, Barbados, is, they're making a good game of it there in St. Kitts there, Shane. The pride left-handed batsman Kyle Mary smashed a century this evening in the day and night zone A top of the table clash against hosts Leeward Hurricanes in the Colonial Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup. Playing at Warner Park in St. Kitts, the pride made 225 or 49.5 overs after recovering from 36 for three at one stage and they were led by Mears's 113 that included nine fours and eight sixes. Mears and Tevin Walcott, who scored 39, put on 117 for the sixth wicket. Chino Berridge took four for 38. Now, in reply, the Hurricanes were 135 for five after 31 overs. That match is live on Radio 94.7 FM. Meanwhile, in Zone B in Trinidad and Tobago, the Windward Volcanoes made 225 for a 9 off their 50 against the USA at the Brian Lara Stadium. The USA were 98 for 2 after 26 overs. And at the Queen's Park Oval, the West Indies emerging players were bowled out by Trinidad and Tobago Red Force for 243 off the final delivery. They were led by Justin Graves' 80, which included 7 fours and a 6. John Russ Jagasar took 3 for 33. We have highlights from that innings. That's four. Well timed. Finding the gap well. In the air for a long time, but he placed it perfectly. Yeah, it's in the air. It's going to carry to long won. off. And yeah. it's taken. That's going to be given out. Nice looking shot. Very good. And this one is firmly struck in front of square and will get to the boundary. That's going to run away. Juicy half volley taken low on the full toss, in fact. That's 50 for Justin Graves. A good hand played. This one is swept away behind the square and hit will get to the boundary. And he's gone around. This one is up in the air. Will it be taken? Darren Bravo under it and he takes the catch. That's a no. That's going to go straight over the long off boundary again. It's struck and it's in the gap. Brings up the 200. Put back into the operation. It's a big shot over mid wicket and goes all the way. Yes, this one yes, is up yes, in the air. Will it be taken? It is taken. A very simple catch. Yes, 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 yes. And that's in the air. Down to fine leg and taken. Cool. Hold him. This one is smashed over the offside by Keon Harden. That's in the air and it's going straight to fine leg and will be taken. And this one is hit over extra cover. Field on it. Will it go all the way? It goes all the way. Slow balls into the pitch. This one is up in the air and will be taken at cover. In the air. Long on, long off actually is under it and takes it cleanly. That was Kyle Hope. So the innings concludes on the final delivery. Red Force in reply were 56 for two after 16 overs. That game is live on MCTV's ESPN channel 308. We'll have an update for you of the Barbados game in the second half of sports. But continuing now, where West Indies player Nicholas Puran is guilty of ball tampering. He has been handed four suspension points after admitting breaching level three of the ICC Code of Conduct for players and player support personnel during the third ODI match against Afghanistan at Lucknow on Monday. Puran was charged with violating Article 2.14 of the Code, which relates to changing the condition of the ball after video footage showed him scratching the surface of the ball with his thumbnail. He will now miss the next 40 20 internationals for the Windies and will have five demerit points added to his record.
Koran admitted the offence yesterday and accepted the sanction proposed by Chris Broad of the Emirates ICC elite panel of match referees. As such, there was no need for a formal hearing. Puran apologized to his teammates, supporters, and the Afghan players after accepting that he made what he termed as an extreme error in judgment, and he fully accepted the ICC penalty. He also gave an assurance that it was an isolated incident that will not be repeated, and he promised to learn from it and come back stronger and wiser. Puran will now miss the Windies three-match T20 international series against Afghanistan and also the first game of their subsequent three-match series against India. That means the earliest he'll be available to play for the Windies is the second T20 against India. That will be on December 8th.